now two lovebirds wandering in right this way. What can I get for you? A pint? Cherry cordial? I bet the gentleman would like something stronger, wouldn't you? A telephone, please. You must have a drink with us. It wouldn't be polite now, would it? Come now, dearies. What will you have to wet your whistle? Um, two brandies, please. Perfect. That's just what I would have ordered. Two brandies to soften the blow. Put your feet up. I'll take care of you personally. We are lost. You mean you don't know where you are? You're in the cauldron, loves. The heart. The very centre of things. I mean, I'm not sure myself how to put you right. It's a bit confusing. Let me ask foul Mike over there. He's a regular map, he is. The twisty, turny streets and alleys are like his bedroom. He'll know the way home. There's a gentleman and his lady friend who've asked you to join them. Come now, you won't want to disappoint him, for Jenny's sake. I have to go. Don't leave Jenny in the lurch. Come now, he gets real mean when he's angry. Come now, just one drink, for me. Come now. <laughs> well, this is a delight. Lilith and I were just beginning to feel bored. So few come out these days. We're just so happy you could drop by. Not for me. I don't really care for champagne. Oh, just enough to wet your lips. They're looking a little dry. To newfound friends and old partners in crime. How can we call ourselves friends when we haven't even exchanged bodily fluids, as it were? Allow me to go first. My name? Hmm. Which one to choose? They're all so special. I suppose most of my friends know me as Stan. That's Stan. Heavy emphasis on the S is how I'm called. My father never really liked the name, but he never really liked anything about me much. Well, fuck the father's I say. And this lovely creature with her hand wrapped around... Oh, you mustn't look. It'll positively make you blush. Patience, my dear. Patience. This is Lilith, my confidant, my lover, my poodle. And what, may I ask, is your epithet? Hmm? Your moniker. Oh, your name. Oh, it's Kenta. Oh, of course it is. A nobleman's name. Sir Kenta of uh, wherever you're from. A true knight. <laughs> yes, once a knight, always a knight. But is once a knight ever enough? <laughs> and what, may I ask, is your name, my little cherub? Mari. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. My name is Mari. Mike, barman. Yes. I summoned you so that you could hear this young lady's lovely name. Well, go on, Mike. Ask her her name. Well, what is your name, miss? Oh, miss. I do like that, Mike. That is rich indeed. Well, tell them your name, miss. Mari. I thought you'd like it. Well, that'll be all. Oh, no. Don't let him get off that easily. Tell his story. Oh, Lilith, do you really think it's appropriate? Kenta, let's go. Our Michael has a curious affliction. A blood disease. And not just blood, little pieces of brain matter, slivers of white bone. He has control issues. Look, all I want's a clean glass. No. <laughs> And then Mike grabs a baseball bat from behind the it bar. It was a hammer. He was sick. Oh, are we back to you now? I'm all back. All yours. Don't worry, love. <laughs> but it is such a beautiful name. A virgin's name. But you're no virgin, are you, chicken? I dare say you've had your fair share of cock. Not that there's anything wrong with a little roll in the hay now and again. And you were lonely tonight, weren't you? I could smell you when you came in. 
I could taste you. I want to leave! <laughs> oh, such betrayal! Kent has become a fallen angel. Lilith can do that to men. Such a slut. Let's reconstruct the situation, shall we? On one hand, we have Kenta, a serial vulture. Oh, Lilith, a vulture. I do like that. A man who feeds on sex with passion. I like vultures. All yours, my dear, all yours. And then on the other hand, we have you, a woman who craves money more than love. A woman who deceives and accepts compromise just so she can have her Gucci handbag and diamond earrings. But unfortunately, she has an itch to scratch that damn sex thing, and it causes her to be a lying, well, we've already established you're no virgin. In fact, you have hardly an innocent bone in your body. And it is a lovely body. No, I'm not like Oh, really? I'm starving! Jenny, bring me one of those apples. And Mike, bring me a knife. Yes, sir. Right away, sir. Is it sharp, Mike? Yes, sir. Very sharp. I've got your apple, sir. I took the liberty of slicing it for you. Hmm. How very kind of you, Jenny. It seems we don't need a sharp knife after all. They're my children. I love fucking with them. <laughs> Speaking of love. Isn't it funny how everyone thinks they deserve love? <laughs> it is funny. I did deserve love. So did your husband. So did your babies. And here they come now. Again. <laughs> right on cue. No. Please don't. Forever searching for a mother's love. All they wanted was a warm embrace. <laughs> Whose heart did you embrace, Jenny? <laughs> the, the throat. Their throats as you held them under the waters of their evening bath. And one of your beloved. Which one? The man of the house. Jenny. <laughs> oh, he threw himself in front of a train. Talk about sorrow. He betrayed me! Oh no, he did the right thing. He called the authorities. You were damaged goods, and who could love that? Change seats? Excellent idea. Lilith, could you entertain our little dove while I have a man-to-man -man with dear Kenta? Of course I can. <laughs> she makes my mouth water. You're frightened, aren't you? I embarrassed you with that little secret about your fiancé. I let the cat out of the bag, didn't I? She is a wonderful woman, isn't she? Marie. Lilith. Yeah, it's very lovely. You desire her, don't you? Well, if you want her, it can be arranged, but there's a catch. A catch? Well, it's really quite simple. I demand loyalty. What are you exactly offering me for my loyalty? Oh, you mean other than to allow you to taste my sweet Lilith? Yes, besides that. Oh yes, well, I'm in need of an ambitious young man like yourself. The cauldron could be a growing concern. A true diamond, a pearl. What do you say? Why not marry for money? After all, when you get right down to it, why do you think your fiancé is marrying you? Your charm? Sophistication? Of course not. He wants to rub that little bud between your thighs. You're young. He gets your youth, and in exchange, you get his cash. It's a fair deal if you ask me, as long as you get your satisfaction on the side. A woman needs her satisfaction. You think I should marry my fiancé and keep another man as my lover? Another man? Have you ever fucked another woman? What do you say, Kenta? Well, um... <laughs> It's an attractive offer. <laughs> Kenta, I had enough. I'm leaving. Sit the fuck down. If 
I agree. I want her. <laughs> you want to fuck my Lilith? Kenta, do you know what you're asking? She's a predator. <laughs> That's what I want. Kenta, agreed. You don't want my soul after all? Oh, I thought you knew. I already have that. <laughs> You're gonna wanna see this. It gives me goosebumps just thinking about it. <laughs> Kenta can't hear you now. He bumps to Lilith. <laughs> Why, Lady? 